All right, let's start with the big story that we're tracking this hour where Narendra Modi is on a record-breaking spree. He's made history last year when he became the first Indian Premier to visit Israel. He'll be making history today by becoming the first Indian head of government to visit Palestine. Now, Ramesh Ramachandran in Delhi and Daniele Pagani in Ramallah set the stage for the Prime Minister's four-day three-nation West Asia tour. Since coming to power in 2014, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has set a scorching pace, traveling to most countries of consequence in West Asia. He has visited Saudi Arabia, which conferred its highest civilian honor, the King Abdulaziz Sash, on him. He went to Iran, the United Arab Emirates and Qatar. He has also hosted leaders from the region, such as Recep Tayyip Erdogan of Turkey, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi of Egypt and Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. So what explains the flurry of visits? Well, for one, India sees West Asia as its extended neighborhood which has a direct bearing on its security and economic interests. India has the unique distinction of having good ties with all countries in the region. It buys almost all its oil from the region. More than 8 million Indians live and work in the region, and the region is the biggest source of foreign remittances. In the next few days, Prime Minister Modi will visit Palestine, the UAE and Oman. And going forward, he is expected to host leaders from Jordan, Iran and Saudi Arabia. In Palestine, he will hold talks with President Mahmoud Abbas at Ramallah. Modi will reach Ramallah from Amman in neighboring Jordan without having to set foot on Israeli territory. Of late, India says it has de its relations with Israel and Palestine, suggesting that it intends to treat them as two separate and independent entities, exactly as India is already doing in West Asia with the Sunni Saudi Arabia and the Shia Iran. In the UAE, Prime Minister Modi will address the World Government Summit and participate in the groundbreaking ceremony of a Hindu temple in Abu Dhabi. On the third and final leg of his visit, he will travel to Oman. As is now the practice with most Modi visits abroad, the Indian Prime Minister will address the Indian diaspora in Dubai and Muscat. Bureau Report, we on. From Act East to Act West, we on tracks the Modi visit to West Asia with reporters on the ground. As Palestine calls, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will renew all ties in Ramallah. And seek investments in the UAE where the Indian diaspora awaits him. From there to Oman to build strategic ties with the regional power. Come to Ramallah with me, Daniele Pagani, as I track the historic Indian Prime Minister's visit to Palestine. I'm Mr. Virendra and I'll get you the updates and takeaways from Prime Minister Modi's visit to Abu Dhabi and Muscat. Four days, three countries. The most comprehensive coverage of the Indian Prime Minister's West Asia visit, only on WeOn.